Let's go to a Scott and Safety Hub. Hey, Scott, what's going on? Joe, Tom, appreciate you spoke to your son the other day on the phone. I really appreciate this whole network. You know, you've been diligent all these years. You should be syndicated. If anybody should be, you should be. Hey, Scott, be good on morning, national man. radio every single day. <laughs> so what are we going to look at today? I'd like to look at, well, my question is about gold and silver. Um, a lot of talk about, as you know, you're in that business of, you know, the gold price, so that means that silver should be at 40-something. Do you see uh, silver bouncing anytime soon based on uh, history? Uh, not, not that history, no, because what happens is that the correlation that you had just brought up, that history was back when they were actually using silver and gold for money. It's a couple hundred years ago. Like... So I remember when I first started the gold report because people, you know, especially the silver bulls are onto that in a huge way. Like, you know, silver's never been valued uh, at that point for a long period of time. So, you know, we, we caught a bid today in silver. There's no doubt about that, you know. And that's what we needed <laughs> for the metals to go higher. Um, you know, you get 58,000 contracts. It looks like it's going to clear the um, 1678 area where it's 1679. So that's saying that, you know, bottom line is that Game is on here now to 1775. Um, gold certainly has caught caught a a bid also, and in, you know of course it has to do with the dollar. The dollar is coming down with some real juice out here today. So the only thing I've bought in the way of silver is uh, you know silver wheat and SLW. Would you recommend that for buying silver? Let's take a look at it because this is uh, this. Uh, so you got WPM. This is t this had a tough time last week. W L P. Uh, is it not WLP? Okay, WLP. Is it? No, uh, sorry. WPM? PM, I think it was. PM. PM. So this equity here, folks, this is the largest silver broker. Um, low for the year is 1832, the high is 2272. Okay, good. So it's caught a bid, too. So we bring this back. 17 yeah this is this is all right see it, it it came down with some juice but it didn't break the swing which is good it's lower swing scott so yeah i mean I, i'd say that you know bottom line is that 2272 is game and what happens with this stock is that the different deals they actually act like a bank so the different deals that they have with companies um if silver keeps moving their spreads go up pretty dramatically because what happens is that the way that they make money is that royalties. Is that it, it, it's all it's a different part of royalties. What okay. happens is that they, they'll go into the uh, <coughs> the companies and say, okay, I'm going to buy 20 million uh, ounces, ounces off you. This is the price. Sure. And then they give them the bread, and then they just deliver it. So they sure. take more of a risk than the royalty aspect. But okay. when when the metal's moving, that's that's a good stock. Yeah. So that that's a good play on silver. You are a wealth of information, Tom. I've never seen so much information in, in, in one head. I mean, you just oh, yeah, really know it all. I'm not, I'm not pulling your yeah, string Yeah, no, I, I don't mean, know I it all. <laughs> many, close. many shows, and you are at the top of the list, believe me. Uh, thanks, man. Have, have a great one. Have a safe one. Appreciate it.